Okay, continuing on, this is the third video. Hope you've watched one and two. Let's unbend those. And this this is what this particular station looks like. And this one we're bending up, we're forming up the uh, wire crimp areas, area. I guess both of the U's will get formed in this station. Okay, and now this next station is a lot more work, a lot more thinking because we've got to drop down those two areas. So just about everything has got to get flattened other than the lance. So we're going to move this out. Let's see, what did we say? 0 0.027 in this direction and then in the Y yeah, it's got to drop down a negative 50 thousandths. That's what the offset is. Enter. And let's see next. Let's delete those three bodies. Right click to accept the command. And Let's look at that sketch blank and you can see that this body has to get moved out now as well. And down. Let's hide that. So move body again. Drag it to get it started in the right direction. That's not mandatory, but something I usually do. 025 that way and 050 down. Okay, now these these are tricky to unbend, but very simple. You just have to know it shows us there what the they're cylindrical, what the radius is, but we need to unbend it on both sides of the center line, and we need to check unbend the solid in order to get the crimp slots to unbend. Same with this one. So we've got this coined area here. We want that to still be on the part when we unbend it, of course. Unbending on both sides of the center line and unbend the solid. Gorgeous. Okay, now Let's look at that sketch blank again. And you'll notice that the that the solid body doesn't match up the sketch blank perfectly. Let's start a sketch here. And that's because when we flatten it with LogoPress 3 blank, we're not calculating the K factor. So you can see there that that the main wing, if you will, is doesn't match. And we'll just rough this in. This For the demonstration, this is plenty good. And actually, this, this is probably only off a few thousand, so nobody would even notice it. And nobody is certainly going to measure this if we just make it a straight line going across and we'll just drag it into position a little bit better like so and hide that sketch and draw a construction line also known as a center line and mirror these entities 
about this line. Right click to accept. And actually before we draw a line across, let's fix those. And then we'll close those sketches so that we can extrude them up. And I would normally again use a keyboard shortcut, but there I just used a couple of keyboard shortcuts. Once you get used to the keyboard shortcuts, they're extremely fast. Okay, let's see. So we're ready to insert another station mark because this is what this station looks like at the bottom of the stroke. And what are we doing here? What do you see? You see only the lance and the coins, so we need to be doing some of that. Let's say we're doing the lance here in this station. Now again, we've got a little extra work to do here because I'm going to make the lance wider. You can see that that lance isn't there's no gap between it. And so we need to use a special logo press 3 command shearing. Again, there's no gap. That's all solid. Like so. And now I'm going to make this wider so that we don't get a sliver when we lance it. So let's say I checked with the customer and this is okay to make this a little bit wider. So let's create a sketch, convert the entities, and now I'm deleting the relations because I'm going to reorder this and then I'm going to fix them. So I don't want there to be a history problem. Parent-child issue. Start a sketch, convert the entities, delete the relations, and fix them. Fully defined sketches are nice. And now let's move that unbending after that. And then let's grab a sketch. roll back and grab this sketch and change that to three thousandths. And then the same here. And then let's put some fillets in there, just very small fillets. And this won't be on the other stations in the part downstream, but it doesn't matter. A couple more radii. There we go. And then roll to the end. And then we're ready for the next station mark. And at the bottom of the stroke, as we're looking at the part right now, when the press is closed, what's happening? The chamfers on the bottom are getting coined. And we'll continue next video.